Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you're doing well on your journey. And if you feel you aren't, of course my intention today is to grab a word from the divine to help inspire you to continue to move forward on your journey. Pisces Soul Tribe, I want to get into a general read for you. And of course this time it will feel more so like it's after the dark. Even though it still looks like it's a little light outside. But, um still after dark vibes okay so pisces soul tribe before i go into our in your dreams oracle card this this reading is going to feel um different um in the in 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 the live i mentioned that you know i i heard open enrollment and now i'm here in class is now in session okay so um this is not going to be like any course that you've um ever had in your entire life Okay, I am not going to be any like any other teacher, professor, guru, or whatever you consider that you have learned from somebody. I'm not going to be like them either. Okay, um, he he a little different up in this place. Okay, so I I feel like there's a lesson for all of us to learn here. I feel like there's something for us to gather, some form of information, um, that is important for us to gain. Um, I feel like take out your notebooks. Okay, I feel like a lot of information is going to get you. Might have to play this back again. Okay. But definitely, if it resonates, um, feel free to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. Um, to all my new subscribers, what's up, my people? Um, hopefully, you all have been doing well. I'm so glad that you all have decided to um, take part in this journey. Um, as I feel like I'm a part of your journey, I feel like you're also a part of mine. So let's see what's going on. So um, in your dreams, okay. So we have the number one. I'm getting a sense of starting back over. I feel like we were in that full energy, but like I feel like now we're in this in this space where there's something that we're trying to create. There's something we're trying to bring into to existence. There's something that we're trying to manifest. I feel like we need to be one with all things um surrounding us um as well. I feel like in order to um, be somebody who, um, as an example, be someone who plays a musical instrument very well, you have to become a part of that musical instrument. Um, as you flow with it, it connects with you as well. There's something here um, about connectivity, um, about being dedicated to something um, that you decide to do. Um, something that you decide to play. Giving something your all is also what I'm feeling, okay? I feel like allowing things to flow, um, some form of continuity. I'm also feeling it's also um, a little possible form of spontaneity as well. Creativity, uh, um, putting a part of you in it as well. Okay? But let's see. We'll put that off to the side and we'll see how that resonates. I'm going to grab some um, of the Akashic um, Tarot just to see. Um, what other kind of energy surrounding you before I get into some standard tarot um, other messages um, but let's see so we're starting out with the number 20 um, will wisdom um, and mind I feel like there is con connectivities um, allowing things to flow I feel like there's balance and existence between all um, things surrounding you will wisdom and will wisdom and mind I feel like there's a trifecta um, some form of using all these things to aid you um, in your journey um, and discovery of self becoming one and existing in the space as a whole individual um, is also what I'm feeling with that what other messages do you have for a spirit concerning this will wisdom and mind <clears throat> okay so we have um the bird's nest um which is three of forces okay we got this um yesterday um in the live okay three um, the trifecta. There's something here about some form of unity, um, using all things ar around you. Something also about um, possibly feeding yourself um, as you transform, getting all of the nourishment that you need in order to develop, grow is also what I'm feeling. Okay, and then we have the five of keys, um, which is fulfilled. So some form of tangibility. Okay, so the number five may be significant um, for you as well. 
Um, this is definitely the total opposite of the Five of Pentacles is also what I'm feeling. This definitely is giving me Ten of Pentacles vibe, um, some form of abundance, having everything that you need to feed um, a family, um, things that you possibly didn't even expect um, would even co come your way. I feel like this is something you are not going to put a lot of effort into having to do either. I feel like this is something that has always been a part of um, some makeup. I'm also with the number 20 getting some form of judgment as well, um, some form of awakening to what you are supposed to be fulfilled um, with and, and be a part of existing in, in your true space is also what I'm feeling. Okay. What else, Spirit? What other messages do you have for the Akashic Tarot? Okay. We have the number 22, which is add some. Okay. I feel like unity, family, connectivity um, to all forms of spirituality is also what I'm feeling. Definitely gaining some form of knowledge um, throughout many different generations um, is also what I'm hearing. Through all different means is also what I'm hearing. I'm feeling I'm feeling the connectivity through all um, major and many different forms of spirituality. I feel like using all of those things um, purposely and purposeful, especially with the number 22, um, rounding also up to the number 44. I feel like these are things that you also hold on to and keep dear to your, to your heart. I feel like they're also very fine. They hold a very fine significance and value to you as well. But like, I feel like with this knowledge and using all of these things with this trifecta, I feel like like all of those things are um, putting you in a space where you can possibly obtain and receive knowledge to gain some form of abundance. I feel like someone's lottery, someone's wish fulfillment, um, someone's abundance um, lies within. I feel like this is something that you have to awaken to is also what I'm feeling. We have the king of keys as well. So you hold the keys to the kingdom is also what I'm feeling. You also hold um, some form of abundance there is an overflow of abundance we have a very full um, va um lush feels here as well but there's something about the sunlight shining down on this i feel like as i said this is something that is divine order this is the king of coins this is not something that you walk into this is something that you are born into i feel like this is something that has always been a part of you as i said there there's an, an awakening to where you truly are supposed to be um realizing your true potential um as well this is something um that has been worked for over time is also what i'm here um feeling okay any other akashic messages spirit okay this is definitely a peaceful energy um definitely full of knowledge and expansion um, Hilarion, like there's um, definitely um, knowledge here, um, some form of guidance as well, okay? I'm also hearing the word um, atonement as well, okay? But like, I feel like this is something that has been happening for many um, different um, generations. Um, the number five is definitely very significant. Okay. Um, Ten of Cups. I feel like many energies are help aiding you um, in some way, shape, form or fashion to obtain some form of abundance, um, some form of stability. I feel like your focus really, truly did go um, internal. And like, I feel like with you going internal, um, lo and behold to you, whether you know it or not, I feel like you really cracked open some some form of potential, some form of knowledge that is now looking for you, looking for some form of access to you as well. Um, finding its way back is also what I'm hearing. Okay. Last few messages, spirit. Okay. Um, caught in the ruins. Okay. Um, so the number 16. I feel like there was a time where you did um possibly need a, a moment to reflect okay i feel like this is something that that was was intended to happen um i feel like through your reflection you understood possibly the mistakes that you made along the way i feel like um with acknowledging those mistakes this is this is possibly also um healed you in some way shape form or fashion okay 
I feel like also with choosing to heal those spaces that may feel that you may feel entrap you. I feel like you also will unlock. You are the key. You king of keys. I feel like you have the keys to unlock um, some form of potential. Something has been locked up. last few messages spirit why caught in the ruins okay so the karmic trench i feel like there was something that was supposed to be built here um something that was supposed to be established here i feel like there is balance um that is beginning to happen i feel like um while you are tilling something is growing as well i feel like something is coming um into balance and like i feel like for you to obtain something you have to go into a space that a lot of people aren't willing to go you sometimes do have to go into the trenches in order to find your reward to find your treasure, um, to find your abundance. I do feel like this is something that you have to work for. I do. Last one, Spirit. He gave me quite a few, but let's see. I'll take the one on top. So, um, two of forces, um, the willow, um, for some reason, right off the bat, I'm getting Pocahontas vibes. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Um, is also what I'm hearing. Um, I feel like creativity, um, reigns in abundance here. I feel like there's a very lush tree, very lush fields. There's plenty is also what I'm feeling that is available. I feel like this is also an abundance of wisdom, profound knowledge. Um, I'm, for some reason, I'm hearing tree of wisdom. Okay. I feel like this is also a tree planted by the rivers of water that shall not be moved. There's something here about stability, about really truly grounding oneself. There's very fine significance um, in grounding um, yourself at this present time. But that is what the Akashic um, Tarot has to offer us. A very peaceful energy, very peaceful um, energy. Um, it seems like a very knowing um, energy, very knowledgeable um, um, energy we have here with this um, Akashic Tarot. I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so let's get into um, some standard tarot, see what other energies are present for us. Um, what spirit has to offer will of fortune at the bottom of the deck with the sun um, i feel like some form of balance is, is being made clear some form of clarity I'm, for some reason i'm also hearing karmic clearing is also what i'm hearing okay I feel like something really truly is over the the will of fortune did bend in my hand so it's definitely letting me know that that um for some reason it's turning um and i'm wondering um is it saying that it's turning in in your favor pisces but let's see uh, what the will of fortune has to offer the star did show itself i can't show it to you because she's quite naked but we're going to start with that energy so we're starting off with the star so definitely some form of wish fulfillment definitely some form of abundance i feel like there's a flow here there's something here also about um the way the water responds to the moon at night is also what i'm hearing so lunar energy is definitely very significant i feel like the stars are shining down on you okay i feel like this is also um your time to shine is also what i'm hearing okay but let's see spirit This card does say the stars, so definitely some form of um, sig um, significance with plenty is also what I'm hearing. Okay, we have the devil, um, devil coming out, okay? But I'm hearing get thee behind me is also what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like this is not something that, that you um, need to be worried about is also what I'm hearing. OK, I feel like there is going to be opposition with what you have to do, but I feel like there, with what you have to do, there's some form of destiny, destiny. OK, nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is something that's going to be yours, regardless of what opposition comes up against you. But like, I feel like this could possibly be some form of jealousy by some um, onlookers. Um, it's also what I'm hearing. I'm feeling like this. These are people who also are on the worst side uh, of the end of things. I mean, we have a very, a very strong justice juxtaposition here very fine difference here between the stars and the devil generally we consider the devil that's something that lies beneath um i feel like this is definitely um could be possible jealous energy surrounding um your your abundance how you're shining um it's looking like you have plenty is also what i'm hearing okay but um why the devil spirit let's let's clarify the devil before we go anywhere else spirit why this energy So three of swords, um, two of swords. Hmm. 
This really hurt somebody. Why why the two of swords, spirit? Clarify. Six of Cups. Um, very somebody is somebody's into some energy where they're where they're really reminiscing thinking about thinking about you specifically. Especially with the Knight of Wands. Um definitely somebody in some some quite lustful um energy. So um that's the vibe. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not surprised because I mean, with the star, and this is just the this the imagery. She's pretty naked. Um, um, that's very interesting and very befitting for how this is now turning out. I feel like somebody is considering the way that you used to turn them on. Um, I'm fi I'm getting um an energy of some um very lustful um energy. Um, somebody who possibly um plays with themselves and imagines you at the pleases they pleasure themselves. Um, to um their memories of you possible um maybe even if you have recorded videos is also what i'm hearing with this but regardless of what they're feeling you're in this star energy and with that energy um you are resonating very strong very strongly but let's clarify um the star so we can get some clear messages on why you are coming out as the star spirit why is pisces coming out as a star at this present time Um, so two of cups, okay. Um, something that's um, perfect balance, um, unionship, um, something about harmony is also what I'm what I'm feeling, okay. Something also very peaceful. It's a lot of talk. Um, the moon, okay. Why the moon? Oh my goodness, we got a lot of clappers. I call those clappers. Um, so we have a lot of noise. Um, and like I feel like with this moon, there's a lot that's hidden that's wanting to be spoken up about. I feel like a lot of things have been revealed um, to you. Well, a lot of things have approached you um, as well in spaces that you didn't expect it um, as well. I feel like you have also seen a lot of strange things is also what I'm hearing, okay? Spirit, why the moon? Clear. Okay. So the emperor, there seems to be some evolution that seems to have happened overnight is also what I'm hearing with this two of cups to the moon, to the emperor. Baby, listen, let me tell you something. Listen, I will, I would want you back to. <laughs> let me tell you something. I will want you back too if I was showing up this way too. The star clarified by the two of cups, the moon to the emperor. Something happened overnight. A change happened overnight. A switch happened overnight. A unionship, a partnership, a divine partnership happened overnight. Okay. A six, some success. Okay. Ace of Pentacles has happened overnight. My goodness. This is some very profound energy. This energy keeps on getting better and better and better. And it seems like a motivator and inspire and, and inspiration for, to inspire someone to keep on going. Because, wow. I would want you back too. I would be thinking about you in that way too. Spirit, why the emperor? With the temperance. Wow. I, oh my God, oh my God, did it on them. Straight up switched on them is what I'm hearing, okay? Wow. With the lovers at the bottom of the deck, you chose yourself. You chose your destiny. Your purpose is also what I'm hearing, okay? You chose the divine order. Interesting that there's a triangle on his back. The trifecta is also what I'm hearing, okay? Through you, a lot of things flow, okay? You're letting a lot of things flow. This is profound energy, man. Like, my goodness. I don't even want to go anywhere else. I feel like I should just get another deck and just leave this alone with the Ace of Swords. Something is very clear to you, okay? Your connectivity. You see things as they are. And a lot of people see it now. You are the truth is also what I'm hearing, okay? 
What other energies do Pisces have surrounding them concerning this star energy spirit? What do other people see? The Hierophant, you are the truth. They see you as, as, as some form of divine child. With the Page of Cups, you give messages of hope. You you give messages of, of, of inspiration. I feel like you make things that don't make sense make sense. In a way that they're not supposed to make. A lot of things are made clear through you. Okay? What else, Spirit? Nine of Cups. With the Ace of Cups, you you are loved. <laughs> people people love what you do. My God, literally, like people love what you do. People see you as the truth. Like pe people people trust you. Is also what I'm hearing. They trust what you have. They trust what you have to offer, and what you have to offer is plenty. It's good. It's like really good. I could, it's 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 amazing. Um, four of cups. It 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 yeah. Mm hmm. It bothers a lot of people. Five of swords <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it bothers a lot of people. They tried. They tried to reject it. Is also what I'm hearing. Some people tried to reject it. They tried to fight against it with the five of swords. They tried to fight up against it. They try to reject it, but I'm 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 feeling like they see that it's the truth. They see that it's the truth. Five of Wands. They fight up against it. They fight up against it. They 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 try to act like they can ignore it. Eight of, eight of Wands. But something comes up in opposite opposition against it. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm hearing right back at you. Is also what I'm hearing. I'm going to show you <laughs> what you going to show them. What you going to show them? You going to show them. You're not playing. I feel like you you cause towers is also what I'm hearing. OK. A lot of people are concerned about the spaces that you hold because you cause towers. I feel like you show people who they really are. You challenge is also what I'm hearing. You challenge people's very existence with the world. You challenge people's very existence and people have no other choice but to um, honestly submit to it. And it's not even by anything that you're doing. It's by what it is. It's the truth. It's undeniable. It's like you can try to fight up against it, but this is happening no matter what is also what I'm hearing. And what is the tower? What is this change? What is this? What is this surprise? Um, three of Pentacles. Um, it's a surprise that things are working out for you. Okay. Um, this seems to also be some form of partnership with someone's spirit team. I feel like your spirit team don't play about you. I've said it a lot of times, but I, I feel like somebody's in a in a space where there's just divine order, where balance is just really truly working out in your favor because you're trying to do your best to do the right thing. Um, what you feel is some form of purpose. This isn't about being perfect. This isn't about being trying to be honestly. I feel like you're this time you're just doing things for you. And if it happens to line up with the divine perfection, okay? You have something working with you is also what I'm hearing, okay? Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you have just have you have angels watching over you, keeping you from all hurt, harm, and danger. Got an angel watching me, keeping me from Hurt, harm, and danger. That's what I feel like. You have angels watching over you. Clark sister, shout out. Uh, you have angels watching over you is just what I'm hearing. Just some form of divine order. I feel like there's just... 
complete unionship, complete partnership, that trifecta from, you know, the Akashic Records tarot. This this um working three is definitely significant. Three, three, three. Um, divine order. Something is just definitely in some form of divine order, um, some form of balance. Last few messages, Spirit. What other messages do you have for us here on tonight? Okay, so we have the five of um, cups as well as the queen of pentacles. I feel like people are really truly disappointed that honestly, they, 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 I feel like people are just in regret. I feel like there's a lot of shame also attached to what people have possibly done. And like, I don't even, as I say, I feel like Pisces, you're just also this queen of pentacles. You're off in a space just trying to peacefully enjoy on what you have been working for. I feel like your work behind the scenes is just happening now in tangible form. Um, in a lot of the readings, you're not coming up as water. You are coming up as um, earth. You're coming up as pentacles. You're coming up as stability. I feel like the focus with the soul tribe, Pisces soul tribe particularly, um, right now is stability, um, for some form of financial wealth. Um, it's like, okay, it's here. Um, I feel like I can manifest it. I'm going to now put in the work, but not only am I going to put in the work, I'm going to believe, and I'm not going to stop until I get it. Um, don't stop until I get enough. Okay. With the will of fortune, there's a sense of luck on your fight, and, and and it's coming back up. I feel the will of fortune is um in your favor, and it's working in your favor. And I'm gonna leave this um um message um at that. But let's look at um our number one. That's wonderful. The will of fortune showed itself at the beginning of the reading, um, and it's showing itself now. And it never came out. I feel like it would just wanted to let you know that it is present and it's aware that it is working in your favor. Um. We started with it and we're ending um, with it. Okay, so we have the number one here. And we've never had the number one. Um, so let's see what this is about. In the beginning is also what I'm hearing, okay? So the number one. Okay, let's get the glare. Okay, there we go. So the number one is play. Um, it's air. It's also an external event. A message will change your life. The quote... It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change, Charles Darwin. Wow, like this this has been a, 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 a very edifying reading. And honestly, I feel like this, this is one of those kind of readings um, that was necessary to, to round off the excitement, to round off the exuberance of um, you have won the lottery. But not only have you won the lottery, you now have the will of fortune. Pisces Soul Tribe, that was your reading. Um, hopefully this message resonates with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And you are able to take something from it that you can use. Pisces, if there's anything you need from me, those details are down below in the description box. And as always, Pisces Soul Tribe, remember to conquer the night. Bye, guys. <laughs>